is I want to send a message to those uh, big businesses and those big corporations that uh, I will not hesitate uh, to shut them down. Issuing a warning to big box stores and customers, the Minister of Labour, Monty McNaughton, is following up on Doug Ford's promise earlier this week. I'm going to come down on them like an 800-pound gorilla. The Ministry of Labour is launching an enforcement blitz this weekend, targeting big box retailers in the GTHA, ensuring capacity limits are followed and looking for workers and customers not following COVID-19 safety guidelines like masking and physical distancing. With the support of local police and bylaw officers, Ministry of Labour inspectors have now been empowered to issue tickets to customers in addition to their usual power to ticket businesses. Our inspectors will be able to uh, put fines of uh, $750 if, if people aren't wearing their masks. I think they're going to where the visibility is higher. Epidemiologist Tim Sly says the Blitz will draw attention and raise awareness, but says large big box stores with many customers don't necessarily pose a bigger risk of infection than small shops with just a few. The people per cubic meter is probably the same as when you had a corner store with one staff member and two customers at any one time. He says weekly testing of workers and more resources for contact tracing would be a better course of action, facilitating targeted inspections at workplaces known to be spreading the virus. By predominantly uh, contact tracing as being hotspots. NDP workplace safety critic Wayne Gates says workplace inspections are important, but there must be real consequences for rule breakers. He is critical of the government's record during the pandemic. They've already done 31,500 inspections. Uh, one employer has been fined. How can anybody tell me when we have 3,000 people die in long-term care facilities, and I know they've done inspections there, and not one fine? Political analyst Keith Leslie says the blitz is an attempt by the Ford government to distract from criticism for allowing big box retailers to remain open and not offering paid sick days for workers. Once again, this government wants to be seen to be doing something major with the blitz of the big box stores, but when everyone has simply said the most important thing you could do is provide the paid sick days.